Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review the nameless ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300 which is based on Android 5.0 Lollipop uh, actually this is the second version of the, their ROM so you go to those settings about and then you can find and uh, nameless ROM version 5.0 the release date is 11.17 ok so this is actually second version so they, they said they fixed mobile data, Wi-Fi, GPS and then other rebooting problems and all uh, still I'm not getting Wi-Fi uh, because uh, you know there is already some problem with Wi-Fi with Android 5.0 so these Google guys are actually working on it besides that we'll just look at the settings and all like if you can see this is the beautiful notification bar you can find and then you will get all these options like if you click on the battery option you will get this battery and then you will get this battery saver option as well you can turn it on this is a new feature and then you will click at the on button and if you have this contact you can load it and here is the brightness control and Wi-Fi setting, Bluetooth actually mobile data is working even mobile data and then mobile network is working auto rotate, flashlight flash is all working and then the GPS cast screen is there um, if you look at the menu options you can see in the new launcher this is stock launcher and here is the dialer app if you dial some number they get all this kind of a dialer option it's it's just that working you can do all these things pause and then add things like that is there so that's for dialer and then this is the contacts option and uh, messaging app and then browser app is here <laughs> and gallery if you go to the settings Wi-Fi, you can find the Wi-Fi thing, Bluetooth, data usage other things like cellular network, mobile plan and then if you look at the uh, buttons you can find a long press action and all recent app switcher so you can find this is the recent app switcher which is almost like google chrome i can close all the recent assets from here which is good so from here i can also customize menu button behavior and then uh, this is the display option to get the cast screen dead dream in sound notification you can actually control the sound notification this none option is there like you know interruption interruption and then priority mode all mode it's actually a new kind of volume control and all which is introduced in Adobe Pop which is good and then these are the other sound options and then storage option is here, I'm going to show you the storage details as well as battery and then apps, application manager, profile, location, security in security you can change this uh, lock screen options and all so other options are here as well like blacklist and all and then uh, language and input at the first time option installation the keyboard won't work so you have to come here and then click this show input method then it will start working and then date accessibility printing other options if you look at lock screen actually there is a problem because home button is not waking up so i have to press power button only and then in lock screen you can directly go to dialer from there like this i can open the dialer directly and you can open the camera as well 
but the stock camera is not working in this case that we have this Apollo music player calculator calendar and then this camera the stock camera is not working so I have to download um, Google camera from the Play Store and then we have uh, clock other options DSP manager for sound and uh, downloads gallery Gmail maps other G apps app applications and screen screen cast as well the new Play Store and this is the thing I need to discuss that is device control which is which comes with this ROM this is a request root access this is actually a tool which you, which you use to control almost all the aspects of your ROM you will go to the options like device information which will show you all the device information like runtime then device information EMC you see processor details kernel details memory details and then sensor details everything you can see and the second option you can see features can do this LCD power reduce options are there and then here is the performance which will show you the clock speed and all and you can also set this uh, maximum and minimum clock speed from there and you can also specify the CPU governor and here is the GPU setting option then in extras you can do all this entropy thing just to increase the responsiveness of SD card and all and then this is a tasker you can do tasking options from here and then this is a flasher we can uh, select flashing from here itself we can choose the uh, uh, files from here add item I don't know it's not working right now because the document option is not there trigger media apps then app manager even file manager wireless file manager it will act as file managing and build prop editor and then other editors are there in preference you can customize the settings with this application so overall this is actually a great um, control app uh, actually I'm looking forward to the future releases for better ROM because it's actually good that a developer started working on Android Lollipop ROM for access 3 so actually I'm looking forward to the future releases hope for the best we'll get a more stable and then great ROM anyway if you, if you want to if you want to take the risk and just try this ROM there is a link in the description which will show you how to install this ROM just go and check it out that's it thanks for watching please subscribe for more